Hello friends, welcome back to your channel, Learn and Earn, myself Dayanand. Let us continue with our Excel VBA 2016 part 22. And I guarantee you this will be a very, very interesting video. Have a look at it. What do I have for you is connecting our Excel VBA with Access Database. So in my previous videos in the playlist, if uh, part 16 and 17 where I show how do we save data on the same workbook or you can save the data on some other workbook which is an Excel so there was no database at all so now I introduce you to access database so that you can store all the values in the user form and retrieve it whenever you require it so what do we do now we need to create database number one we need to establish connection with the database, store those form value, the user form values onto the database three. And also I'll show you an example, which is a working project. And finally, how do we export this database onto Excel so that somebody can run a report or for further analysis. Now this file, this uh, connecting to access database, very much useful when it comes to the multi-user environment say you have 10 different people in your team going to use the tracker and update these values simultaneously and all the data comments it's in access database and you can have the control on access database to export it going to be very very interesting and i will try to make it as simple as possible it's my promise so please do watch the video till the end also please do subscribe to the channel and don't forget to like okay let's get started number one let us begin with starting an access database as long as you have installed microsoft office any version 2010 12 13 whatever so we will certainly have access kindly open access by clicking on the the launch button create a blank database here and choose the file path where you would like it to be saved let me save it in my computer and so name of the database mydb2 and say okay and click on create All right so database is created however it does have one table by default it is just a blank table now if you are new to database um, watch this carefully slowly okay it takes time to understand database and data design and all uh, so i'll try to keep it simple as possible this is the page where uh, data is visible data sheet we call them as data sheet if you right click on the table and click on design view this is your table design i'm going to call this my table 2 and say okay and here is our design the field name is the name of the field that you would like it to be and what type of the data going to sit there for example a phone number and this has to be a number a data type has to be a number and name can be a short text short text let's use f name and address address can be long test likewise so you're going to create this database and direct, right click and save it and have this database ready okay so for our project purpose i have already created a complete database so let me show that to you it is my db1 and the table name is my table yes my table and having these many fields so I have date, contact, username, source, customer ID, accepted, order type, order number, etc. All right. Now let us get on with our Excel. This is the form, user form. All the data filled in in the form will be saved in our database. So what we're going to achieve, we're going to send each of these fields into corresponding each of these fields if i show it to you head by head to head and i have date which is auto filled by system time contact comes from the contact id username comes from the agent u name source come from this field and customer id and so on right so 
So have this database ready, save it first, and uh, you can close it. We don't need to work on this. We only need the Excel and VBA function. And to save time, I have already written the complete programming coding. So I'll explain you line by line. So listen to me carefully, okay? So creating this user form shouldn't be taking much time for you. So if you have watched my all the videos in the playlist, I have shown you from the scratch, how do we start with user, user form, the coloring, and designing the front end, everything. If you haven't, please do go back and watch my earlier videos and come back to this one, all right? So now I have a couple of text fields. I have named them already and a couple of drop downs and a submit button and a reset button, all right? Yep, that was about user form initialization. And now let me show you the core part of uh, connectivity between our Excel and uh, the access database. So number one here, I'm using a function submit data, which submits when we click on submit button on the user form, this one, okay? Now for the next two minutes, pay attention. Let us l run through line by line. So I'm going to explain you what activity being carried out. To begin with, I need a couple of variables. So I'm going to take dim CNN as ADO DB connection. ADO stands for Active Data Object Database dot connection. And I'm using RST, user defined, you can use anything. So I'm just calling RST, which is resembling record set. Okay. And DB path, I'm keeping it as variant. I'm going to take a path where my database is stored like this so this is where my database is stored so i have picked up the path on the address bar at the end if you put slash the backslash you pick the exact database that you're going to store the values into okay and that is the path the path and now i have the variables ready and i have database path ready i will come back to this on error line later now, since I have these objects, let me uh, initialize them. I have declared only here. I have only created them. So I'm going to initialize here. Initialize nothing but you're going to assign certain memory space to that, which system does it automatically in the background. So let us set CNN is equal to new ADODB connection and an RST record set as new ADODB record set. Right. So assigning is done. Let's move on to object linking and embedding what is object linking and embedding now this is an excel file and this has to be linked with another package another application which is access database so we need a microsoft provider OLEDB OLE stands for object linking and embedding to database. So with the latest version I'm using 12.0, which is the provider, nothing but kind of a driver for running, handling uh, Excel and um, you can say connection string between Excel and the access database. Okay. So with this connection, let us open cnn.open, provide the, I mentioned the provider and data source I'm using the calling the variable which is here so data path is already stored in db path variable so the connection will be established now so and the next the logic connection string requires five arguments wherein from where the source is coming from what is the active connection cursor type log type options i'll not give you much information on this you need to focus on one which is where the source is source is my table what is this this is the name of the table in my database so when i opened my db so what we created in the database table so which is my table i'm going to specify here okay active connection which is the connection the one which you just initialized cnn right cursor type and lock type options i'll not uh, i'm not going to change much of this this is something to do with the read only and open exclusively those options uh, just do a bit of research on google you will get to know those basic information okay now this is where i'm using with and end with block which will help us to store data within the database from our user form let me show you head to head. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, the field which is saying date, so it's very simple. Take the record set, which is RST, add a new row because every time you click on submit, a new row need to be added. So add a new row, add new. Which field? Fields. What are the fields? Number one is date. So date field, mention, always you ensure to cover them within the double quotes. And I just need the current date of the system. So it says now, MMDDYY is the format I need to capture. We have done this format now in the maybe the second or third video back in this playlist. Okay. Then the contact is coming from contact ID text. So here is our user form. The contact ID text. Okay. I just lost the coding. Where did it, where did it go? Yeah, here it is. Likely the next one is username. Username coming from the uname text dot value. Where is the uname? Here is the uname text dot value. Okay. Uh, again missing. Just going minimized. Yeah. Right. Next source is src combo value, cid text value, accepted value, and so on. I'm mentioning taking each block, each field here, and I'm telling which item value need to be passed on to the user form. At the end, once I'm done with this, I'm going to call dot update. So adding a new record and update database. This command will help us to update database and save it. Beauty of this, you do not have to save it manually and access data database will never be opened in front on the front end okay once you're done with this it's your duty to ensure you're going to close the record set rst.close and close the connection and release the memory which you have aligned or allocated so set rst nothing set cnn nothing that's it you are done you just need to now throw a message box tracker has been updated thank you and i'm calling reset the reset nothing but just cleaning the user form you you are familiar with this in the previous video i showed you how do we clean user form right and coming that's it that, that's all you need um and this this part is going to take care of error if there is an error go to zero the zero is nothing but i'm calling on error go to error handler so error handler will throw a message what does it say? It throw the message in message box. It is a default description, whichever comes out from the database. Le let's run the demo. Right, agent username. Okay, and contact ID one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, no problem. So uh, let's say this is an email and customer name is Gmail. And uh, yes, it is accepted order and order type is a uh, pickup order and order number one two three four five six seven eight nine and the status is completed okay order placed and let's click submit and that it says thank tracker has been updated thank you that's it your program is working perfectly and let me show this data on the database so we need to verify whether the data has been sent to database or not if your program is perfect it has worked the way you expected you will find the table filled with the value right then no problem i could see the data which i entered email gmail order number yep perfectly fine data is being sent to the database perfect right you just connected access with excel good 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 for you right so we shall cover the database export option in the next video it takes hardly a minute well believe me it takes really good time for us to prepare the project prepare ppt and pre make a video so please do subscribe to the channel please do uh, press the bell icon so whenever i upload a new video you will get a, a notification email and thumbs up thank you thank you keep learning keep supporting all the best all is well